Um, this video is turning into a little bit of a marathon, but uh, I want to keep it all in one video if I can, so it's going to be 25 minutes long, I think. So, what you need to do now um, to engrave a picture with a laser onto anything, really, you need to prepare uh, a picture, a photograph, whatever material that you want to, to use, um, in such a way that a, a laser can recognize and burn it down. Um, basically what you need to do is have a, a black and white image or change a color image into a black and white one, uh, which I, I have done here. This is a, a very good representation of a, a cat's face uh, in black and white, but you still need to prepare it even further. Now what I mean by that is, uh, this at the moment is a JPEG. Um, lasers won't understand that. We have to uh, now save this in a bitmap form. Now a bitmap form is pix pixelated. In other words, black and white little dots. Now that is what a computer understands. So what we're going to do now is just very, very quickly go to File, Save as Bitmap Picture. And we're just going to save it as Cat1. And we're going to save it onto our removable device. Save it there. I'm going to put it straight into laser cut and further treat it in there. Okay, so we've got uh, laser cut here now. So we go to here, actually here, to import a file. And here it is here, cat one, double click. And there it is. So what we're going to do now is come here to the select tool, put some handles around that, come just here to the edge of the picture where you, you get this uh, cross sign, right click, and we're going to resize that. Uh, it's a little bit small, so, but we want to keep this ticked because we want to keep the picture the, the same size. We don't want to distort it at all. So I'm going to go, um, let's see, 100, maybe 120. 120, 85, okay, we're going to okay that. That's a little bit bigger. So, <coughs> When a laser etches or burns in glass or plastic or something like that, um, what happens is, if I left the picture like this, the laser will fire in the black areas and not fire in the white areas. Um, but when the laser impacts on glass or plastic, it shows up white or grey. So what we have to do with this picture is reverse the colors. In other words, make a negative of this, which is very simply done by coming over here. Invert color of bitmap. One click and it's done. That's it. So that's what the laser is actually going so to etch. having now converted uh, very quickly um, our picture to a negative, we can now process it further in laser cut. Now we don't want to cut it, so we change that. Now how to change that, you just hover over it. No. Click once, say engrave, we only want to engrave this. Um, so then double click, this will come up. 
Okay, so 300 is fine. That's 300 millimeters per second, which is actually about 11 inches uh, per second. Uh, by direction, correct. So we want it to fire both directions. Uh, engraved blowing, yes, that's ticked. Now this is a little high. Uh, because we want to be fairly gentle with this. So we're going to say 20. And I'm going to knock this down to about 22. Now I want a high resolution picture and I think we're going to go to 0 0.09. Uh, step over uh, to make sure that we get good coverage. Uh, we don't have to do anything else here. Uh, just press OK. It's going to take a little while to um, to do, I think, because the program now is actually individualizing every pixel and writing the code for it. So now we can start the laser up and. Send it to the laser and we'll give it a cut. Okay. So let's set the datum there. And the datum origin origin is there, so we're gonna do a test. Okay, so here we go. Um, and what I'll do is I'll speed the footage up here. Uh, it should only take about um, five minutes. Um, but I'm sure you don't want to sit through a whole five minutes of etching, so here we go. What a very nice reproduction that is of the cat's face. And I hope I've shown you in this video how to get there. What you would need to do, um, as I think I've shown you in other videos as well, is uh, set up a test card, um, an etching test card, a very simple etching test card or cutting test card and test different settings of the laser um, for speed and feed and also power settings and I think I've given you a little taste of how to do that how to get the near perfect reproduction um, videos in the future we will go into more depth uh, of etching and cutting uh, of different materials and even 3D engraving. Uh, though my own preference for 3D engraving is a CNC router. Um, it, it can still be achieved with a laser. Uh, 
but um, my choice for uh, 3D engraving obviously would be a CNC router because I find them less trouble. Uh, when I say less trouble, to 3D engrave something like this uh, would take probably about six to eight passes. In other words, the whole thing would have to be cut about eight times at different uh, power ratings um, and then you would have to hand finish it because uh, you would get uh, left in the material um, some of the waste material uh, depending on what you was uh, etching into but we'll come we'll sort of go into that uh, in more detail in in the future so Thank you for watching this video and I hope I've um, enlightened you as to the operation of a laser and uh, I hope to uh, inform you even more in the future. So uh, thank you for joining me on this video and uh, please press like and uh, subscribe to my channel and indeed if you go to my channel page uh, I have two channels now uh, because I <laughs> I was filling my first channel up so uh, I've been transferring some videos over to my second channel uh, so uh, I think there's now there's over 300 videos between the two ch channels so uh, you can have a look there I do uh, a lot of wood turning uh, CNC routing laser work um, and I also do uh, CNC milling and uh, different shop jobs I do around here so uh, it's bye for now